frequency uh, sperm concentration 50 million 15 million per ml uh, <coughs> total uh, sperm count in ejaculative volume should be more than 40 so, uh, so the measurement of volume is also very important. Total sperm concentration can identify then only. So the volume, role of volume, another role is uh, to find out how many spermatozoa are in the total ejaculate volume. Then morphology at least for vitality, live or not. At least 58% WBC should be less than 1 million per ml. Round cells should be less than 5 million per ml. It is very difficult to differentiate between uh, round cells and WBC. Then, <coughs> suppose uh, repeated semen analysis is abnormal, you should subject the patient for further evaluation. There is endocrine evaluation, FSH, LH testosterone, and sometimes prolactin uh, serum estradiol or thyroid function test also. Then karyotyping for uh, clean filter syndrome, scrotal ultrasonography, evaluation of testis epididymis, then vasography, then patterns of vas deference, testicular biopsy for spermatogenesis or arthropathy, transrectal uh, ultrasonogram. Uh, for complete or partial ejaculatory duct obstruction, then evaluation for the presence or absence of seminal vesicle one by one. See, <coughs> LH, FSH, and testosterone evaluation means to uh, identify the normal functioning of hypothalamic pituitary axis. Hypothalamic pituitary axis, that is why LH, FSH, and testosterone. See, Low LH, FSH, and testosterone level indicate hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. Hypogonadotropic hypogonadism, all are low. Uh, then uh, here, whether a confined uh, diagnosis is okay, then we have to analyze some more TSH, especially growth hormone also. Then elevated LH and FSH. Elevated LH and FSH means Hyper, uh, hyper gonadotropic hypogonadism, uh, where the we uh, from L, uh, raised LH and FSH helps to distinguish primary testicular failure, that is hyper gonadotropic hypogonadism, from secondary testicular fail, uh, failure, that is hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. Uh, hypogonadotropic hypogonadism or the uh, center fault can be corrected. But hypergonadotropic hypogonadism is very difficult to treat or incurable. But so, pre-testicular having the possibility, testicular with the asospemia and the raised level of LH and FSH are very difficult to cure. That is, patients with the primary hypogonadism have a severe irreversible testicular defects. Secondary hypogonadism may, see, may be hypothalamic or pituitary origin and infertility may be correctable. So, pre-testicular can be corrected. Treatment is there. Effective treatment is uh, there, especially in modern medical science. Uh, in normal men or obstruction, uh, normal men means FSH will be normal, LH will be normal, testosterone normal. In obstruction also, LH is normal, FSH is normal, but no spermatozoa in the ejaculate. Means th there may be obstruction. Because LH and FSH are normal. In normal, in, uh, normally LH, FSH, testosterone, and uh, adequate amount of spermatozoa we anticipate. But uh, LH is normal, FSH is normal, uh, testosterone is also normal, but no spermatozoa is seen. It indicates uh, mainly obstruction. Then we have to go through another investigation or one more investigation like biopsy. Biopsy means section or the anatomy. We will get the microanatomy of the testicles where spermatogenesis is going on or not. Well, if the spermatogenesis is normal in, bio, uh, in uh, biopsy, then you can confirm obstruction is there. Then uh, with the ultrasonogram or vasography to find out where, which area is obstructed, partial or complete. Then prolactin measurement is indicated in patients with low serum testosterone 
without an associated increase in serum LH. Low serum testosterone. So, uh, generally we will anticipate LH may be high. But, but low serum testosterone without an associated increase in LH. Such condition, you have to uh, uh, analyze the prolactin level. Moreover, these symptoms uh, decreased libido, erectile dysfunction, then the evidence of hypogonadism. This indicates, uh, this is indicative for, uh, here we need uh, prolactin evaluation. Then serum is not all. You should analyze. Uh, any patients come to you with obesity or uh, alcohol, alcohol addict uh, or uh, having some liver problem. So gynecomastia is the typical example for uh, clinically, you can evaluate the, there may be rise in level of estradiol or relatively androgen uh, or testosterone-estrogen uh, relation altered. Relate, related to uh, androgen-estrogen level is high. The ratio will alter. Uh, then obesity, then alcohol abuse, then suspected androgen resistance. Men with a history of precocious puberty, very early age itself, development of mustache, everything, uh, uh, should consider congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Congenital adrenal hyperplasia that can lead to uh, premature or precocious puberty. What is precocious puberty in female? Precocious puberty. One set of menstruation before the age of 10 years or development of secondary sex characters before the age of eight years. Right. Am I wrong? <laughs> then chromosomal genetic study. Men with the severe oligosospemia, asospemia, small testis, then elevated FSH. Elevated FSH associated with the small atrophic testis implies the irreversible infertility, where you can analyze for uh, chromosomal study for in order to rule out which state mainly Klinfelter syndrome. Immunological study, presence of anti-sperm antibodies are not an absolute or all or none, all or none cause of infertility. It, is, it has no, no such, too much importance. Then anti-sperm antibodies do not immobilize sperm or interfere with infertility. Anti-sperm antibody. But it interferes the sperm penetration through the cervical mucus. Uh, uh, it alters the function of spermatozoa moving through the cervical mucus. Cervical mucus. That is why they are uh, bypassing the cervical canal with IUA. Then uh, sperm agglutination may be caused by anti-sperm antibody attachment that you, you have seen. Similarly, uh, anti-sperm antibody, the, this, uh, this one, anti-sperm antibodies are generally seen in circulation. Blood circulation, you will get the anti-sperm uh, antibody effect. Similarly, seminal plasma. Moreover, the plasma membrane of the spermatozoa. Also, anti-sperm antibodies are present in the blood circulation in the seminal plasma as well as the uh, uh, plasma membrane of this spermatozoa. But here you have seen the attachment head to head, tail to tail, etc. Uh, due to the presence of uh, anti sperm antibody in the plasma membrane of spermatozoa. That is why attachment may be Then infection may also lead to agglutination. It can also lead spermatozoa agglutination. Then the possibility of infection should be ruled out with the appropriate summon culture. You know, uh, with UTI, more than five puzzles, you should subject the patient for uh, culture of urine. Similarly, this is not a routine one, but in suspected cases only, you should advise the patient for summon culture. For, uh, because uh, which infection is there, that is why infection as well as anti sperm antibody can lead the patient or spermatozoa to agglutinate. Then, I think you know all these terminologies, nomenclature. Uh, normosospemia means sp 
sperm concentration, progressive motility and morphology are more than or equal to the lower reference limit. Lower reference limit. Oligosospermia means sperm concentration below the lower reference limit. That is less than 20 million sperm per ml of. Then asthenosospermia means motility. Motility. Sperm progressive motility below the lower reference limit. Then teratosospermia, abnormal sperm morphology. That is morphologically normal spermatozoa below the normal reference limit, below less than 4. Then oligosteno-asospermia means sperm concentration, progressive motility, uh, uh, oligosteno-asospermia. This, uh, this case you, you are usually getting. Uh, severe degree varicocele is one of the causative factors for this condition. Sperm concentration and progressive motility below the lower reference limit. Then oligoteratosospermia. Sperm concentration and morphology. Uh, the sperm concentration and morphologically normal spermatozoa below the lower reference limit. Then asthenoteratosospermia. That is progressive motility and normal morphology below the lower reference limit. Oligosthenoteratosospermia. All the parameters, that is decreased sperm concentration, progressive motility and morphology below the lower reference limit. Then asospermia means no spermatozoa in the ejaculate. A is at zero, zero spermia. Cryptosospermia. No, no, no spermatozoa in the fresh ejaculate, but observe in a centrifugal pellet. Suppose, in case uh, laboratories, they are, uh, after liquefaction, uh, they put one, one small drop of uh, liqu liquefied cement um, in the glass slide and uh, analyze under microscope. If no spermatozoa are seen, don't declare the patient is isospermic. So then the, the whole cement is subjected to centrifuge. Then after centrifuging, the deposit or the pellet should be examined whether there is even a single sperm is there or not. Then only declare the patient is asospermic. So whenever you get a patient and uh, asospermia result, you, you can simply write to the lab, test for asospermia. Already uh, asospermia patient, test for uh, um, uh, semen analysis within bracket, including pellet centrifuged pellet or deposit. Then, aspermia means complete absence of no ejaculate due to neurological insult like. Then, hypospermia, low volume of ejaculate. Then, hema, at, uh, hematospermia or hemospermia, presence of RBCs in the ejaculate, then leukocytospermia or leukospermia or pyospermia, presence of leukocytes in the ejaculate, then necrosospermia, increased percentage of motile and dead spermatozoa in the ejaculate and very few number of live spermatozoa. I think all the numbers are clear. See. Spermogram, this is the normal sperm, then oligosospermia, then crypto, cryptosospermia, means very few number. I will bring you. Uh, this is asospermia, no spermatozoa when they ejaculate. Then teratosospermia, irregular shape, double head, everything. Then asthenoasospermia, means abnormal movement. Abnormal movement. This is straight movement, almost. Uh, then oligosthenoteratosospermia, Total abnormality, then necrosis, dead cells, only dead spermatozoa. Then absent or low volume of ejaculate, causes may be retrograde ejaculation, failure of emission, ejaculatory failure due to spinal cord injury, diabetes, and other neurological or psychogenic factor causing anorgasmia. Retrograde ejaculation, how will you uh, analyze? Retrograde ejaculation, ejaculate goes back into the bladder and expels out through the urine. For one suspected case, patient is advised to avoid urine soon after ejaculation. Avoid urine soon after ejaculation. Then examine the post-ejaculated urine. Post-ejaculated urine and subjected to 
high power microscope analysis in one uh, single high power field more than 50 parameters of either motile or um, uh, uh, non motile or sluggishly motile you can declare this, this is a case of retrograde ejaculation this is for the only diagnosis of the uh, retrograde ejaculation in case of uh, retrograde ejaculation how will you collect this parameters but then the patient is asked to avoid urine completely before ejaculation completely before ejaculation the, uh, it will reduce the uh, 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 too much mixing of urine with spermatozoa then then patient is advised to ejaculate so urine already expelled previous one for the diagnosis of uh, 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 that condition uh, then uh, uh, first uh, uh, avoid uh, avoid urine completely then allow the patient to ejaculate then the ejaculator is collected by catheter then uh, in case of uh, ejaculatory failure supportive psychotherapy is needed drugs uh, uh, this is for a uh, uh, supportive uh, for proper uh, ejaculation one of uh, our kashaya uh, is saptasarang kashaya you can advise it is not only for uh, uh, dysmenorrhea, but in case male, it is. The, uh, the role of saptasarang kashaya in dysmenorrhea, any biochemical action, it has, I think it has only mechanical action to dilate the cervix. But sugumara kashaya have some biochemical, and it increases the uh, level of estrogen. It has estrogen-like action. Then chiriviladi kashaya is good. Then black gram prepared with milk and ghee. Milk and ghee. Again, uh, Gandharvayaranda, Gandharvayaranda with milk at, be, at bedtime once in a week for three or four consecutive weeks. It is laxity. Then, or advise the patient for finally hygiene. Then, asospemia causes maybe. Maybe uh, hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. Examples, Kalman syndrome, pituitary tumors, then disorders of uh, spermatogenesis in uh, chromosomal abnormality, gonadotoxin, distortion, large varicocele, scrotal, uh, sorry, cell only syndrome, idiopathic causes. Then ductal obstruction due to congenital bilateral absence of vas deferens or vasal obstruction or epididymal obstruction or ejaculatory uh, obstruction. Uh, this can be the type of asospermia, maybe pre-testicular pre uh, or testicular or post-testicular. The treatment of asospermia depends on whether it is pre-testicular, testicular or post-testicular. Pre-testicular asospermia, their, their treatment modality is GNRS therapy, HCG followed by HMG, not ours. Uh, then, or finally, donor insemination. Testicular asospermia, testicular sperm extraction. Testicular sperm extraction, then testicular sperm fine needle uh, aspiration or TESA followed by XC or donor insemination. Post testicular asospermia, where vaso epididymostomy, microsurgical epididymal sperm aspiration or percutaneous epididymal sperm aspiration. Uh, Post testicular only tubal block, uh, uh, the uh, duct system block. So there, there is no other possibility to collect uh, because the uh, ejaculate contains no spermatozoa. That is why uh, this procedure uh, was a epididymostomy or the like. Then oligosospermia, sperm density less than 20 million per ml. Uh, it is classified into different groups like. Mild oligosos, normal less than, uh, more, more, should be more than, uh, it should less than, uh, is mild oligosospermia, sperm count ranging from 10 to 20 million per ml, then moderate oligosospermia, sperm count ranging from 5 to 10, this is moderate, then severe ranging from 1 to 5 million, Extreme oligo means uh, less than 1 million per month. If I fall under uh, oligo group, the causes may be androgen deficiency, varicocele, 
can leads to oligopoly.